It's the ILO Show with Danita Sparks. Tonight's guests, Terry Genderbender, Rob Zabrecki, Stephen Holman, House Band, Blue Man Group, Video Art by Animal Charm. Here's Hello. Danita. Welcome back to my show. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Episode two already here. Wow, and the reviews have been great. Oh my God, like unbelievable. I'm just super happy. Thank you so much for being here. And spring has sprung. Wow, it is gorgeous inside. Can't believe it. Speaking of which, you guys, Lou Man, were you supposed to perfect day me in? Oh, that would have been so perfect. Yeah, I, I thought it was a go. Oh, man. Okay. Maybe next week. Okay, okay, cool. Well, all right. I see you're not ready, but that's okay. Uh, I, I'm going to come back to you guys. Uh, thank you so much for being in my band. I mean, in my show. What am I saying? Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Ooh, here we go. My first guest, Terry Genderbender, founded the band Les Butcherettes, who happened to have a new album out called Don't Bleed on Rise Records. And you know, she's one of the best front people out there. And she's a singer, she's a writer, she's a multi-instrumentalist. And we've been talking about doing a song together for a while, and it's finally come to fruition. So super excited here we go me with terry gender bender let's go I got to use this old rag. Thank you, Margot. 
How you doing, Lou Man? You know, I got this letter, this kind of weird letter from your manager's lawyer. Uh, it sounded a little harsh. Are you guys, are you sure you're okay to be on my show? It sounded serious. Okay, well, oh, you're ready to do one. Okay, great. All right, well, here we go with a live one from my favorite band, my house band, ladies and gentlemen, Lou Man Group. like a live song that was your promo video I've seen that before actually okay well it's cool I I'm so looking forward to you guys playing a live song okay next week will you promise me okay guys I love you so much you're so good I'm so glad you're my band many blessings okay Let's move on with the show. Family, fitness, fun. <laughs> 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 Family, fitness, fun, family. My next guest is a triple threat. He's an actor, musician, and magician. Ladies and gentlemen, a few minutes at home with Rob Zabrecki.
guest is a fabulous painter, performance artist, and animation director. He created Nickelodeon's Life with Loopy and other cult TV series. Find him online at stephenholmanart.com. Here is Stephen Holman. Hello, my name's Stephen Holman. And I'm sitting here on day 957 of quarantine with my friends, Joe, Jimmy, Doreen, Bob, and uh, old little Edbert. And we're gonna tell you a story. The name of that story is The Pigeon and the Onion Pie. It's a little thing I wrote myself, and I hope you enjoy it. It goes something like this. A giant pigeon looked at the sky and said, Oh God, I wish I could fly, but all I've got is this onion pie. An onion pie, he said with a sigh. I really feel awful, I wish I could die. And he sat and he looked at the onion pie. And after a while, a fly came by and went and sat on the onion pie. I can fly, I can, I can fly. fly, said the fly on the pie. Shut up, said the pigeon, you're making me cry. And he swatted the fly and he said with a sigh, you had to die, cause you could fly. And all I've got is this stupid pie. Hey you, said a voice, it came from the pie. Said the pie with a sigh, I bet you could fly, you big bloody softy, just give it a try. What do you know about trying to fly? You haven't got wings, you're an onion pie. You're nothing but pastry with onions inside. What do you know about pain such as mine? I know quite a lot, said the pie with a sigh. I'm cooked and I'm eaten, so please tell me, why was I given this mouth and these ears and these eyes? It's really quite tragic. I wish I could die. Go ahead, go on, eat me. Bon appetit and goodbye. And so the pigeon ate the onion pie. <coughs> but he was moved deeply by the pie suicide and resolved there and then to learn how to fly. And he proclaimed, though you had to die, I shall think of you often as I fly through the sky and I'll call out your name. Onion pie, 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 onion pie. The difference between this knife and any other knife in the world is mine's in my hand before I move. Every other knife I've seen, you move to get it first, you do some kind of motion. Mine's in my hand first and then I move to do my job. Which means that this knife could, is the only knife in the world that can be invisible if I want it. It's the only knife in the world that let me to move my hands and move my knife the same. It allows me to slap Mike Tyson in his eye and poke him in his eyes the same as my hands would work. Okay, so the five things this knife does that you can't do with your knife is mine comes out before I move, comes out open or closed. It allows me to take it out invisible. It allows me to move my hands and my knife the same. No matter if I'm moving behind me, behind me, whatever I'm doing with my hands, my knife's gonna do. Whew. Oh man. Margo? Margo? Would you be so kind as to bring me chamomile tea, lime no lemon? Thanks. <sighs> oh. What is this? I specifically asked you for tea with lime, not lemon. Okay? I'm exhausted. My throat hurts. I can barely yell at you, okay? I know, I know, most people like their tea with lemon. I am aware of current tea trends. I'm a nonconformist. I'm a traditionalist. I like lime with my tea. 
Never mind. Just never mind. Okay. Just never mind. Oh, God. Oh. 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 Oh God, I feel bad. I shouldn't have yelled at Margot like that. That wasn't nice. I'm sorry, Margot. We're just at each other's throats. You're being cooped up in here. God damn. Well, at least we're not all kicking Mother Nature's ass for change. She's kicking ours. I saw a photo of it. Coyote in the middle of Michigan Avenue in Chicago. At least the pandas in the zoo are fucking again because we're not watching them all the time. Oh, God. Okay. Grow up, Sparks. Jesus. Get it together. Okay. Marco! I'm sorry. This next video I'd like to play is by L7, and it's from our album Scatter the Rats. And when I wrote it, you know, I was pretty stuck. I had the blues. I was depressed. Uh, it was a few years ago, and I, I, I couldn't, I just couldn't get things unstuck. So uh, it's just ironic that now we all find ourselves in this literal, physical holding pattern. And uh, so enjoy, this is Holding Pattern.
And that's a wrap. I'd like to thank my fabulous guests, Terry Genderbender, Rob Zabrecki, Stephen Holman, and you know, when life gives you limes, make limeade. And always remember, stay high low.